Okay, we find ourselves in the time period between Pesach and Shavuos, in the famous time period called Svirat to Omer. We're accounting for the Omer, accounting the Omer. And um, the Chinuch tells us that it's not just about an agricultural holiday that on Pesach we start off by bringing a barley, a mincha that's a barley offering, and then on Shavuos we end up bringing a wheat offering, and we're counting towards the wheat offering. The Chinuch tells us that it's not a coincidence that Sviris Omer happens to be during the 49-day period between Pesach and Matan Torah. And he says part of the counting and part of the mitzvah, and this is why the mitzvah of Svira to Omer in the Torah is written in Parshas Emor with all the other holidays, is that there's a direct connection in counting from Pesach to Matan Torah. But then the famous question everybody asks is, if that's the case, so we're waiting for Matan Torah, and Matan Torah is going to be in 50 days, in 49 days, in 48 days. So why is it that we count today as the first day, the second day? We really should be counting 50, 49 days left, 48 days left, 36 days left. We should be counting down as opposed to up. So the famous question is, why is it that we count up towards Matan Torah? And we're, today is the first day, second day, third day. So the analogy <clears throat> that I saw in this beautiful Sefer on Rosh Hashim Pinkus on Sviris Omer, Shavuos, and Pesach, is as follows. He says, listen, if I tell you in a hundred days from now, you're going to get a million dollars. So therefore, you're going to be saying to yourself, oh my gosh, there's a hundred days left till I'm a millionaire. Ninety-nine days left till I'm a millionaire. Ninety-eight days left till I'm a etc., etc. But he says, if I tell you, listen, in a hundred days, you're going to have a million dollars. But the way you're going to get to the million dollars is that today you're going to get $10,000 and tomorrow you're going to get another $10,000 and the third day you're going to get another $10,000. So then you're not just looking at the end like, oh my gosh, how many days do I have left? You're looking, wait a second, today I just got another $10,000, tomorrow another $10,000 and you're looking forward now to each day as you're going up towards getting the million dollars. So he says it's the same thing with Matan Torah. Matan Torah is not that there's a void between Pesach and between Shavuot, and we're just waiting for that for the end of the void. Rather, every day, we're working on ourselves to work towards and getting a little bit of Matan Torah each day between Pesach and Shavuot. And really, when you understand the Midrashim, the Midrashim tell us when we left Mitzrayim, we were at whatever this means, Memtet Sharei Tuma, the 49th level of Tuma, but by Matan Torah, we were at such a high level. And maybe we can suggest as follows. So what's the connection between that and the actual mitzvah of, of, the, of the Omer? Of what, it sounds like an agricultural holiday. So maybe we can make a connection as follows. That when we start off after Pesach, we bring in barley. And our rabbis tell us that barley is supposed to be animal fodder, food for animal. And then at the end, we bring in wheat. And wheat is what we make our... Bread, our bread with, our lechem upon him with, wheat is what we have our matzah with, and therefore, that already is for human consumption. And maybe the Torah is trying to tell us that we're going from our quote-unquote basic animalistic instincts, and every day we're growing and growing and growing until we finally get to that point where we're able to start bringing in the, comer, the carbon omer of chitav, wheat, and this way we're going to be coming what we call a ben adam, a bnei adam. And maybe that's the idea of what we're doing towards reaching Matan Torah. And that's why he says that we count, one, today is the first day of me becoming closer to Matan Torah, me becoming a man, and this is what I worked on today. And tomorrow is my other $10,000, and this is what I worked on, and tomorrow is my next $10,000. And with that, we should find ourselves at this time period to keep on going up and up to our own Kabbalah Satora, and we should keep on getting chizuk in everything that we're doing each and every day. Thank you.